welcome back to the street mike today we are on the street again and i'm here to introduce to you a very very interesting place uh, this place is called the colony l uh, for those who understand danish would uh, possibly be a farming uh, community or, or a place you know so here is um, a place where people grow small small things and uh, basically if you want to grow something here you have to rent land and then you grow uh, your crops and then take it back because here in Europe is quite um, I know a tight weather uh, schedule where you know you have about three months to grow everything you can and so people here um, have a small places where they can grow uh, small things like tomato onions and stuff like that you know not a lot of uh, you know farming this is a very small place maybe a 10 square meters that you rent for yourself and you grow whatever you want to grow and then you take it back uh, to the community and take care of the land uh, but today i'm very interested in seeing and exploring with you how it works here and uh, that's why my interest is caught to this place the colony so let's go around and check what happens here and how it looks because it's very interesting to see places like this hundreds as the industrialization charged Danish society faced overcrowding and health challenges seeking a solution colony L emerged as a heaven for urban workers over time colony L evolved beyond mere gardening spaces they became places to unwind socialize and build a sense of community throughout the 20th century colony L law was enacted providing legal framework for these gardens. Today, Colony Ewa continues to thrive, offering a retreat from the city, a connection with nature, and fostering a sustainable lifestyle. Experience the joy of Colony Ewa, where gardening and community unite for a greener, happier Denmark. As I said before, uh, this is um, a place where they collect uh, everything and come and put here. They, you know, when you cut your branches of your trees, when you, when you weed, when things that you don't want to keep in your garden, you come and put it here. That's why it's very important that uh, they have to, you know, uh, put a place where they, the collection center, where they can collect the garbage and put here. Of course, they will turn it into, a, you know, a useful uh, manure. Uh, but they collect it here. It's amazing <laughs> how it's very organized, and uh, so you can see where your uh, eighty dollars goes when you pay that money. You know. <laughs> Young boys copying my style, still got no fame Better put some little respect upon my name I see them blah 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 making noise But when the king comes through they're like toys I'm here to win Every day I'm on the low low Well, uh, as I make this video, uh, I'm reminded that However small your garden is, you can still farm been a long time I did farming myself but I'm motivated I'm inspired actually by what they're doing here because you know they're just they're integrating this small farming with the lifestyle you know because you can see right in the garden they put a small place where they can sit you can eat the fruits you know it's not just farming uh, for the sake of farming but to integrate it with a lifestyle where they can you know uh, share their moments and lifestyle also in the garden so I'm very very <laughs> much motivated by this uh, you know just coming here and having this clip made uh, I think uh, I hope that um, most of you are equally uh, motivated thank you so much it's underrated I cherish the little progress I've been making in everything till it lives inside you rated why would I aim for the body when I can make a clear hey shot 
feel like a mess, but it takes don't think off. My mind not a difference, take many whether I cap or not, I'ma win. Bougie boy, tight in your place, I'ma claim it. Cause you say practice makes perfect. I'm off for the shit, I done put in the energy. I don't have madness. If we in the competition, put one in it. Niggas left to me, they thought I play. Yes, uh, so you are in your garden, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm in our garden, yeah. How is it going? It's going great, great. How long have you been farming here? So for, I think around three years. Three years? Yeah, okay. more, more or less. More or less. Yeah. So why do you choose to, to rent a small garden for 500 other than buying an acre? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, an acre is a lot. It's a lot, yeah. Uh, so I think you should start in this. Mm. Uh, small mm. and then you can always grow but uh, I mean I think it's just like a hobby uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. yeah 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 so it was a nice break from you know living in an apartment mm. so uh, the products you get here can you sell them you only or uh, consume them yeah we we don't but I've heard others do it mm. yeah uh, that some of the others do it but this is just for yeah yeah uh, personal use yeah pa personal use, yeah. yeah wow mm. so you you, you you said you're you you've been doing this for three years yeah so many people don't even know that this happens in Copenhagen. Oh really? I yeah. yeah. I, so me, I just buy my, my my fresh fruits and vegetables from the garden, from oh. the from the supermarket. So. Oh, I see. Do you raise enough food that can can go can, can take you for some time in in, in the summer? Yeah, for the summer. Yeah, it depends on what you grow. I mm. mean, like last year we had uh, onions, mm. so that lasted quite a bit. I mean, for more, I think like six months. Six months. Yeah. Six months. If you compare, you you spend more than five hundred onions, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, you know, it's not for the money. Not for the money. Definitely not for the money. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But also, you know, like having that feeling of doing something for yourself, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Thank you. So, show me, to, show me your favorite uh, fruit here in the garden. F favorite fruit is probably the strawberries. We don't have many, <laughs> but uh, there are a little bit of strawberries here. Yeah. Uh, and you can see it here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, there were quite a few before, but I think we ate them all. So not many left now, but probably the strawberries are the best. Yeah. Strawberry, yeah. yeah. So how long does it take for a strawberry to get ready for consumption? Oh, this is a difficult question. Uh, I think it's like a, a couple of months. A couple of months. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So there's a sign here on the wall, say Uskar Sotia, Alfel. It tells you that uh, remember to, to sort them out before you throw them. That's why you can see that here. You know, you may have some breaks and uh, there's some dungs and stuff like that. And on the other side, you have um, grass and trees and all that uh, put together. Okay. So, do you get enough product for the money you put in? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is, is it expensive? No, it's not expensive. I think it's 500 per year. 500 per year? Yeah. So you get uh, more tomato, more onions? And... Uh, tomato, yeah. potatoes. <laughs> and then, yeah. For the most part, it's experimenting the first couple of years. Okay. Wow, well, that's really good. <laughs> As I said before, uh, this is um, a place where they collect uh, everything and come and put here. They, you know, when you cut your branches, your trees, when you, when you weed, when things that you don't want to keep in your garden, you come and put it here. That's why it's very important that uh, they have to, you know, uh, put a place where they, the collection center, where they can collect the garbage and put here. Of course, they will turn it into, uh, you know, a useful uh, manure. Uh, but they collect it here. It's amazing <laughs> how it's very organized, and, uh, and so you can see where your uh, eighty dollars goes when you pay that money. You know. from Uganda where we have a lot of uh, farming we farm mostly um, cotton coffee we also farm a lot of uh, vegetables and fruits 
Yeah. I Iran, uh, what do you like uh, uh, planting in Iran? What is the crop? Iran? Yeah. Tomatoes. Yeah. 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 So, but you, are you good at farming? Like, uh, the, okay. Uh, you are good at farming, Iran. Yes. Okay. Mm. It's been two. Yes. Okay. Wow. Yes. Uh, it just showed us this one here. This is um. Uh, Vindu or Vindu or what is it called? Uh, there's some nice fruit. I forgot in the meaning. That is wow. You see how it's flowering everywhere. You know, in hundreds and hundreds. Wow, wow, wow. It's amazing. So in this little garden, it's gonna pick a lot of stuff. You know, and uh, you'll be able to, you know, uh, feed his family on uh, fresh fruits, uh, vegetables, and. Uh, have a pretty good year. You can see his tomatoes are, uh, his onions are doing very well, almost ready. And just a matter of our best. So for me, I'm really having a good time here, seeing so many things going on here. A lot of uh, things you can even see there, maize. Uh, yes, there's growing there, apple tree, <laughs> which I think also do very well here. And uh, you know, here farming is a lifestyle. It's just like, uh, it's a small place, but you can see the beauty and how they spend the time doing something about it. I would love to be in this kind of garden, you know, spend your time here. It's in the middle of the city, by the way and it's very quiet and just <laughs> the ambience of the place is, is quite amazing and you can see different um, work are uh, done here and that's why I'm spending my evening here with people like you and, and so if you're watching this content and you haven't subscribed yet please make sure that you, you do that and turn on your not notification also because we're making a lot of this kind of videos and we want you to be part of it uh, that we can go to see these kind of places so when you're farming across the world whatever you're doing whenever whatever you are please make sure to share with us so that we can see you know this is where i am right now and you can see the beauty you know you can see what people are doing here and i think this would inspire most of us who are doing uh farming also in a small area of land where we can uh, accommodate many things including flowers you know this beautiful flower here and, uh, so let's keep sharing our experiences where we are and what we're doing so that uh, from the street mic we can share with the world what happens where we live. Keep watching. visiting this garden I you know I see um, the owner of the garden is uh, taking care of his garden and is uh, putting water in the garden uh, being an African child I'm always fascinated with the farming uh, but of course where I come from we have big land and you can farm as big as you want to but yeah, it's very interesting because a small piece of garden like this you know somebody can grow his tomato his onion whatever he wants and then take it back to the government and I just asked him and he told me that uh, renting this place costs about uh, 500 Danish kroner a year. Uh, 500 Danish kroner a year is about, um, I would say it's about $80, you know. So you have a garden and you can farm, you can get some good fruits and you know, you make up your own garden. So it's amazing, fantastic. And, uh, so let's keep going around and check what uh, this area got for us.